Hello students, uh, welcome to Dr. Shorab sir classes. So in this particular video as you know that we are solving the UPSC maths optional paper and we are solving the paper 1 of 2021. So now uh, in the previous video we have seen that we have solved the, we are solving this question 7. So in the previous video we have solved uh, question A and B, part A and B of question 7. So you can have a look in that. So this is part C. So what the question says that a heavy particle hangs by a inextensible string of length A from a fixed point and in the, then projected horizontally with a velocity of root over 2 gh. Now if 5A by 2, this is 5, okay, is greater than H, greater than A, then prove that the circular motion then prove that the circular motion ceases when the particle has reached the height 1 third a plus 2 h from the point of projection. Also prove that the greatest height ever reached by the particle above the point of projection is 4 a minus h multiplied by a, a plus 2 h whole square by 27 a square. So here is the diagram you can see. So, so let a particle of mass m is be attached to one end of a string of length a okay now whose other end is fixed at o so this is o and this is a right the length of the string so the particle is projected horizontally with a velocity u equal to root over 2 gh from a okay. so if p is the so let us take so p is the position of the particle okay, at time t such that this angle of AOP is equal to theta. So AOP you can see AOP is equal to theta. So this is point P and arc of AP is equal to S. AP you can see here this is S written over here. Okay. Now then the equation of the motion of the particle will be the it is M D to S DT2 is equal to minus of Mg sin theta. Let us take this question number equation number one and m v square by a is equal to t minus m g cos theta. So that is equation number two. That is equation number two, and also we have this a is equal to a theta, which I am giving this equation number three. So from 1 and 3, okay. so from 1 and 3, we get that A of d2 theta dt2 is equal to minus of g sin theta. This is from 1 and 3. So multiplying both sides by 2a d theta, we have in this equation so it will be v square okay. v square is equal to a d theta dt whole square is equal to this is 2 a g cos theta plus a Okay, so this will be the v square. So if we multiply both sides by 2a d theta. Now, okay. so from here we can this multiply both sides by 2a d theta dt. So at the point a, at 
point A. Let's go to this figure. So at the point A, we have theta is equal to 0 and V is equal to U equal to root over 2GH, right? So we can write at point A, so A is equal to 2GH minus 2AG. Let us take this equation number 4. So now from equation 2 and equation 4, if we write this, so here it is from 2 and 4, this equation 2 and equation 4. Okay, so we can further simplify this because we have this A given, so 2GH, so this written, it can be written as V squared equal to 2AG cos theta plus 2gh minus 2ag. So let us take this as equation 4. So from 2 and 4 we can find this value of t. So where t is equal to it is m by a v square plus ag cos theta okay or simply we can write it as v square the value of v square m by a it is 3 ag cos theta plus 2 gh minus 2 ag so if the particle leaves the circular path at q now let's go to the figure so now okay, so this is the point Q. Now, it is saying that if the particle leaves the circular path at Q, where the theta is equal to theta 1, then T is equal to 0, when theta equal to theta 1. So, at this theta equal to theta 1, yes. So, then at theta is equal to theta 1, we have T is equal to 0 right so from here we can write this 0 is equal to m by a 3 ag cos theta so it will be then yes it will be theta 1 then plus 2 gh minus 2 ag okay so from here we can find the value of cos theta 1 so cos theta 1 is equal to minus of 2h minus 2a upon 3a. Now since we have been given that 5a by 2 greater than h greater than a, okay, so from here that is 5a is greater than 2h is greater than 2a, so therefore this cos of theta 1 is negative and its absolute value is equal to minus of 1 ok or can say it is not directly uh, this it will be it, it will be to it uh, so this absolute value will be actually less than 1 so it is negative less than 1 so from here we can say that theta 1 is real and theta 1 this value lies in this pi by 2 less than theta 1 less than pi so this is the range of the theta 1 so thus the particle leaves the circular path at q before arriving at the highest point so height of the point q above a so what will be the height of the point so it will be a l that is a o plus o l so which is simply a o is a so this is the length so a of cos minus cos of pi minus theta 1 or we can write it as a minus sorry so a minus a 
cos theta 1 right so if we put the value of cos theta 1 over here so it will be a plus a 2h minus 2a by 3a so from here you can write it is one third a plus 2h okay so that is the height of the point q above a now the particle leaves the that is the particle leaves the circular path when it when it has reached a height of one third a plus two h above the point of projection right now let us take so if we take that v1 be the velocity of the particle at point q okay then from equation 4 so then from equation 4 we can get this v r 1 square is equal to 2 a g cos theta 1 plus 2 g h minus 2 a g so from here you can write this as minus of 2 a g 2h minus 2a that is the cos theta value are putting plus of 2g h minus a simple so again simplifying this we can find this is of 2g h minus a of 1 minus 2 third so this is simply 2 third g h minus a okay so if this angle of L O Q is equal to alpha then alpha is equal to pi minus theta 1 so that is from here we can find the cos of alpha so cos alpha is equal to cos of pi minus theta 1 which is minus of cos theta i okay, theta 1 this is nothing but so cos theta 1 is minus of minus minus plus so 2 of h minus a by 3a okay so that does the particle leaves the circular part at the point q with this velocity v1 is equal to root over 2 third g of h minus a so at this velocity the particle leaves the circular path and the angle is cos inverse 2 of h minus a by 3 so this is the velocity and this is the angle it's to the horizontal and will subsequently it will describe a parabolic path So that is the maximum height of the particle above the point Q. So now find the maximum height of the particle. At this maximum height of the particle at point Q, that is the Q point, we have to find this. So this now we have the H is the height. So it is vi square sine square alpha by 2g. So here you can write v1 square by 2g sine of alpha can be written as 1 minus cos alpha square or cos square alpha. Okay. So here we can directly write is 1 by third h minus a by 1 minus 4 by 9a square h minus a okay is this it is h minus a whole square okay, square cos square is there right now simplifying this further we have this 9 so 27 a square h minus a and here it will be 9 a square minus 4 this h square minus 2 a h plus a square so it will be simply h minus a by 
27 a square okay. so here it will be 5 a square plus 8 a h minus 4 h square or if we further simplify it it will be 1 by 27 a square so this is h minus a and if we factor this so it will be a plus 2 h and 5 a minus 2 h so h a a plus 2 h and 5 a minus 2 h right so this is the greatest height ever reached by the particle so that is the high, maximum height of the particle above the point Q. Now what is the greatest height it will reach? So greatest height ever reached by the particle above the point of projection which is A. So here it will be AL plus H. So H we have find. So this is H. So AL is we have find before. So a half of A plus 2H plus this addition of 1 by 27 A square H minus A A plus 2H 5A minus 2H. Right? Now you do the further simplification. So it will be 1 by 27 A square and a plus 2h take this at common so from here we have this 9a square okay mm -hmm. minus mm, this will be 9a square so 2 of a, a a plus h so 2 will be there so 9a square plus h minus a 5a minus 2h right so here it will be 1 by 27 a square a plus 2 h okay. then simplifying it we have this 4 a square plus 7 a h plus 2 h square okay now if we simplify it so this is a plus 2h already given so 1 by 27 a square so this is a plus 2h multiplied by a plus 2h and it is 4a minus h so the answer will be the greatest height here will be so writing the final answer here as 1 by 27 a square a plus 2h whole square 4a minus h so that is the greatest side to be reached okay so that is a pretty lengthy sum so actually this consists of 20 points uh, so that is we have already proved so this is the height we have greatest side ever reached by the particle above the point of projection that is we have reached it okay we have got the answer and at this height 1 by third a a plus 2h so the particle the circular motion will cease this at the side of 1 plus 1 third a plus 2 h that is we have found it over here so hence it is uh, 7c has been solved so in the next video we will look on this the last part of this question uh, this 8 of the section b see you in the next video